So, we're back from the VC Guide, and this time we are looking at Alolan Persian. We've seen previously that on cat Pokemon that have Fake Out and Parting Shot, they have been successful in the past. There is no reason why Persian shouldn't be able to do that as well. Granted, you don't have access to Intimidate, but Fur Coat's a pretty busted ability as well. <laughs> like, Fur Coat is great. 162's defense is what Persian has, which is really, really respectable. So, it's going to be able to shrug off a lot of hits. We've seen it in previous generations. Fur Coat is significant, so doesn't matter that you don't have Intimidate, it's doing slightly, something slightly different. Uh, and you still get to go for the, the Fake Out Parting Shot combination, really, really nice, while also doing great support. Now, th this is exactly the same moveset that I used to win a regional back in 2018, and I see no reason why this would need to change, because like I, I thought that this was fantastic support back then, it still is fantastic support now, especially on top of the fact that back then, Icy Wind Speed Drop wasn't immediate. It was happening on the next turn. So now that it is immediate, is even better for Persian. So it's going to be able to support very nicely. Foul play does consistent damage. You don't care about your attack stat. You get to invest, invest elsewhere. So Icy Wind Fake Out Parting Shot. Brilliant, brilliant combination of support. Black Arsis was what I'd had to just prac in 2018. I see no reason why that shouldn't be a good choice going into this format as well. Just getting the boost on the foul play. It was necessary for Mega Metagross. I don't know if it's necessary for any KOs at this point, so it's definitely droppable uh, for something else. But Black Glasses, I, I used to the damage output of um, Black Glasses foul play but Persian now, so that's probably what I would go forward with. But here are some other options that Persian does have available. It doesn't have to be these. These are other very good supported moves. This is not a recommended moveset. These are just other moves that you can have uh, in these slots. You should definitely have foul play and fake out. Even parting shot is technically droppable. Like, it's brilliant, but technically droppable. But here are some other options. Faint is very good with Fake Out, because then you get to uh, go for either Fake Out or Faint on the first turn, or in whenever Persians hit the field. And then they have to think twice about going for a Double Protect just to stall out the Fake Out, because you could just go for a Faint, waste their turn, and then you're sorted. Fake Tiz is going to be able to help you do massive damage with your partner Pokemon. Helping Kang can also do that, but can help out the attackers as well as the special attackers, just not as much but also at priority so you can help out the faster Pokemon than Persian as well. I'm pretty sure this is the first generation that Persian's got access to Helping Hand. And Fake Out and Helping Hand is a brilliant combination with, with Setup Pokemon. Because if you go for a Fake Out and a Setup with your, on your first turn, and either your Setup Pokemon is now set up in KOs, but if it's not, Helping Hand does generally push it over the edge into a KO. So then it's really, really nice to helping the, the Setup Pokemon there. Uh, Taunt is going to be able to shut down all the shenanigans. We know what Taunt does. Hypnosis is a very high risk, high reward play for Persian, but if it's just sat on the field trying to support, Hypnosis can win some free turns and therefore steal some games. Quash, it's still fast enough to make use of it. It was used on in 2017. I think it's worth an honorable mention purely because of that. I'm not sure how use, it, use it's going to be in this one because there's a lot of Pokemon that are still faster than Persian, but it's still worth mentioning. Screech does the same thing as Fake Tears, but is inaccurate, so inconsistent, but also helps Persian itself with its own foul play, so is still worth considering for sure. And yeah, I guess I ran out of other supported moves. I'm sure there's more, but yeah, that, the, the support on Persian is very, very good. Uh, Steel is the, going to be one of the best offensive terror types you can go for. You can stick with, with Dark and do extra damage with foul play, and Black Glasses foul play with Dark would do significant damage, but Steel is probably best defensively. Uh, just some other mentions for the item. Citrus Berry to get you some extra longevity. Like I mentioned, Black Glass is not necessary. Probably still very good on Persian, but not necessary. Citrus Berry gives you longevity. Uh, Rocky Helmet, making use of your fur coat being, uh, doubling your defense means that you can take on the physical hits. And slapping a Rocky Helmet somewhere is going to be good in this generation purely because of Urshavu Rapid Strike. Uh, and here is another set that I think is going to be pretty reasonable on Persian as well. If you think that Parting Shot is droppable, then go with Assault Vest, in my opinion. Because then you get to stack on top of your already amazing defense because of Fur Coat, and then you get extra bulk because of Assault Vest. So this is able to survive just a regular old Dazzling Gleam from a, um, a Timid Fluttermane. This is able to survive a Specs Moonblast from a Modest Fluttermane. So that's actually pretty significant. So, and then you get the, even to invest even more in your defense, making it even more bulky. I don't think you need need max uh, speed on the Persian that is going for, for pure bulk with Assault Vest. You can drop it, that's outspeeding a Landorus. Uh, you can obviously drop some more of the bulk if you're not expecting any modest max vitamins, which you shouldn't, technically. No one should go modest max on their spe uh, spec vitamin. Uh, but yeah, going with this much speed, it's still pretty fast. It'll still be able to icy win things, 
Like, just slow than the genies, just go for an icy wind on the first turn, you're fine. And then whatever support uh, supporting move you want that is a uh, attacking move. Snarl is definitely a very good one to kind of make up for the fact that you don't have parting shot and helping on the special side. You could slot in faint into that slot as well. Uh, very, very nicely. And I think that this this Persian is definitely one worth considering as well. Even though you're probably sacrificing your max speed, it's still going to be able to be super bulky and not particularly care. So, yeah, we've we've lost the, the previous cat that was faking out everything. This one's still going to be very good, though.